Sue, what is your leadership style and how would it be useful to the successful management of the Cliff of Course office? Okay, I care about my staff. I will make my staff members feel that they can approach me on or off the job when they have questions, problems, or concerns. I will know the job of everyone I oversee. I will reinforce the teamwork concept. Uh, Babe Ruth said, the way a team plays as a whole determines the success. You may have the greatest bunch of individual stars in the world, but if they don't play together, the club won't be worth a dime. As a leader, I need to set the example, be a good role model for my employees. Um, again, they must not only hear um, what is expected of them, but they need to see. Okay, thank you, Jackie. Um, I, I would lead in a team concept. You, you must have the leader, but if you're not working as a team in this office, especially as large as ours, where you need to be able to work within departments, um, you know, there's, we have a division, you know, you've got small claims and civil, that's one division. You've got your traffic and criminal, it's another division. There's family um, and juvenile. And so, you know, they each, each division has its own supervisor leader. And then you need some, there's another office, um, the uh, deputy who oversees that, and then, then it would be my position over that. But I, I would rather, it's, I want input from the employees. I, I see us having you know, meetings every so often as a group, discussing what's going on, what's not going on. You know, I have an open door policy, and what goes on in that office stays in that office. So you know, for me, it's you know, take charge, but work as a team. Thank you. Pete? Well, I think the first thing is, um, you lead with honesty. Um, people need to know where you're coming from, know that they can trust you. Um, honesty is building that trust relationship with your staff. Um, and then you deal with them in a consistent manner. So um, they know that you're gonna approach them the same way each time. Um, one of the things um, with the school district, um, we had a gentleman come in called Squint, Quint Studer um, with the Studer process. And um, so he, he was talking about evidence-based leadership and I plan on, on using those techniques um, that he showed us through the school district to, to gain, use data actually to make sure that, that the office is, is run correctly um, and efficiently and that, um, and part of that is allowing the staff actually to survey the leader. Obviously as an elected official you can't you know, do anything get me out of office, but at least I know that what I'm doing right and not right. Thank you. Um, Jackie, we're starting with you, and this is a question to the audience, someone who wants more information about uh, what's, what it's all about. So, um, what's the difference between the office you're, where you would be running and Lori Stoddler's office? Um, Lori Stoddler is the county clerk. Their office is oversees the elections within the county. Um, they issue passports, uh, DNR licensing. Um, it's changed since I was in there because they did a whole lot more. So she she has nothing um, where we oversee the courts, where we you know staff the courts um, and that kind of thing. So you know I know it's confusing. It's the county clerk and then the county clerk of certain courts. So you know as long as you keep that courts attached to it, you can kind of make that difference. Okay, um, your your office. I'm just going to pee. I don't know why. I'm done with this cycle. Pete. Um, so Lori's office is really the clerk for the board. So basically, um, you can think of her as the kind of the board secretary. That's her major function is to make sure that all the paperwork is getting filed for the board of supervisors. Um, she also has marriage license functionality. She has and. The other major role is election um, is, is her role, and that's really what you know. Where I kind of highlighted her advocacy at the state level, um, she's really pushed that forward and, and become kind of a leader in the state amongst the, the county clerks. 
Um, and I hope to kind of emulate that as, as this clerk of circuit court. Um, the only crossover between the two offices is actually passports. Um, passports, uh, and I see Janet is shaking her head, so I don't know if you're still doing passports in the office. No, so. not at all anymore. Okay, so that was a function that some clerk of courts actually do passports and the county clerks do passports as well. Okay, thank you, Sue. Okay, um, a question that someone asked, and I'm just throwing this out. Anybody who's got wants to can answer it. Um, what? Um, who supervises the county agencies? So that they have the department supervise them, and so who's over case, them? Huh? Who, who? Which agency? Uh, this, this just says existing county agency support systems. So there are the six county constitutional offices, which this is one of. So clerk of circuit court, the county clerk, register of deeds, treasurer, um, sheriff, and coroner if you have one, and we're going away to the medical examiner. So those are the only elected officials as a county constitutional. All the other agency had child support, all the DA is elected to, sorry. Um, um, all the other ones are appointed by the county administrator. And so they would be they would answer to the county administrator. Okay, so that's outside of way outside of what you do and what Lori does. Both. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, uh, this is a question from the audience, and I'm I would be starting with Pete. I think here. Um, this question asks that each of you get, state one positive attribute of you and about the other two candidates. Um, well, I think Sue has, has given a lot of service to the um, county system. Obviously, I mean, she does have the most time in with the county, um, seeing the most changes. Um, I think Jackie does really well at, at the function that she has. She's an accounting person within the agency and you know Rock County's financials are, are good and they we, there are no issues with the financials that are you know day in day in happens month end happens um, we have counties you know that can't ever balance their their month end um, you know that they, they carry stuff along for months and months and months and um, that never happens with Rock County so their financial area is, is solid there. Okay, so I don't really know. I've worked with Jackie a few years. I don't recall how many. Um, Pete, I've worked with you through training when you're down at CCAP or I'm up there. But I don't really, can't know, know you to really give any attributes, but I appreciate the, the, the campaign that it's been. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mean or, Okay, Jackie. Yeah, I, again, you know, we've, we've kept this positive, I think, mm -hmm. is, you know, again, I didn't know Pete prior to this, um, but I think over the prayer week we did talk a little, talk a little bit, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I, I have always said both candidates are, you know, very nice people, and I would not have a problem working with either one of them. I don't see where... Um, you know, there's any kind of conflict in that way either. It's obviously a much different race than another one that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> We're not asking for specifics. No. <laughs> um, this is another question that isn't, um, it, it's a general question, and, and so whoever knows could speak up about it. Um, how many full and part time employees are there? In the county clerk's office, and can you say what the current budget is? This is office. Yeah, sorry. I think there's, there's 60 altogether, 34 clerks, and 60 well, staff on the, on the budget. No, well, no, because you've got the, it's split judicially and then with the clerk reports. So 32 of us now, plus the fifth floor, and then I'm during the minority. I thought it was 34 also, and the, yeah. the actual the budget of the clerk's office itself is so 2.2 yeah. million dollars. Okay, good. All right. Um, we've covered a lot of material in this um, 
forum, and we learned a lot. I certainly learned a lot that I never knew before about the reports and what they've done. So now I want to ask the final question. Um, it, it seems to me that this um, position, it requires a lot of um, skills and talents you know, from a variety of places. Um, it's not like you can be good at one particular thing and, and then do the job. So <clears throat> I'm going to start by framing this question saying, since this is such a multifaceted enterprise, as you've discussed, what makes you the most qualified to do it? And if you want to think about it in another kind of way, why should voters vote for you? And I think we're going to start with Sue then. Well, I've been a dedicated, hardworking Rock County employee for my entire career. And as you can see, I'm not a politician. My family and um, a few friends are working really hard to inform Rock County of my qualifications and experience. Um, my endorsements are from my, the people that know my work ethic and, my, and respect my work. Um, I do have 24 continuous years of experience in the clerk of court's office. I'll work hard every day to run the office as efficiently as I can and again keep customer service as top priority. Okay. Um, thank you, Jackie. Um, as I, I am currently the only one of the three of us working in the office, I have a very good working knowledge of the entire office, the employees that are involved, the departments outside of the clerk of court's office, and their department heads. Again, I was endorsed by you know our current DA, sheriff, a former sheriff. The current clerk of courts has endorsed me. Um, I just, I feel very strongly about giving back. Um, like I have said in the past, I come from a family of public servants and we've always been raised, you know, do your work, do it well, and give back. And it's, this is my way of giving back to the county, you know, the citizens of Rock County is taking care of, you know, the office, keeping the integrity at the level it's at, and with all of that, I ask for you to vote for me. Pete? Can you repeat it one more time? Um, this is a complicated enterprise with many facets um, connected to it, as you all pointed out earlier. What makes you the most qualified person to do it? Or if you want to reframe that, that question, why should voters vote for you? Um, so I think my qualifications with CCAP um, are very different than the other two that are sitting at the table here. Um, my experience is broad. I, I actually have to support every function that, that our software does, and so it, and our software covers every function of the clerk of court's office, also the judicial um, piece of that as well. So um, I will be able to come into this office and be up and running right away. Um, and so there are a, a lot of innovations that I want to um, get into and um, I don't really have the time here. Um, one of the things I, I, I did want to speak to was uh, more customer service. Um, we wanted to be able to, uh, you know, one of the things is that staff improvement will lead to better customer service and that's kind of things that I've learned on the school board. Um, you know, when we talk about public service, I've actually done public service. I've gotten out there, I put myself out um, to the elected public and um, serve this community and I'm looking to serve you again as the clerk of circuit courts. So thank you all very much for uh, being on this forum and sharing with us who you are and why you're qualified to be the next clerk of courts and thank you to the audience.